everyone, welcome back to Style Novice. Today I'll be sharing how to sew a DIY cot skirt. To create a custom fit for your baby's cot, you'll need three basic measurements. The length, this is from one end of the mattress base to the other, so the area the fabric will actually be sitting on. The width of the mattress base and the height from your base to the floor or the level you wish your cot skirt to finish. I wanted mine to sit almost on the floor and you'll notice I've sewn this to suit the bassinet height of the cot. I can easily take up the panels later when I move the mattress down and this is why I haven't included any intricate pleats. So with your measurements jotted down you want to add two extra inches to your length, width and height measurements and if you're working in centimetres add an extra five centimetres to each number. To start you'll need to cut one central rectangle. This will be covered by the mattress so I've chosen to use a cheaper plain fabric here. You'll also need two side panels in both a front and back panel. Take a panel and on the two shorter sides fold and iron one inch or 2.5 centimetres, unfold, fold the raw edge up to this crease line, iron and fold over again before a third iron and sewing in place. This creates a lovely hidden seam and adds some weight to the panel so they will sit nicely on the finished product. Then do the same for the bottom seam of the panel, the top is going to be slightly different. When it comes to the top seam, you only want to fold your seam, unfold, fold your raw edge up to the crease line, and this is where we leave it before sewing. You want to repeat the same instructions for the remaining three panels. On the middle panel, each seam is going to be sewn just as we did the top seam of all our side panels. So it's being folded over once rather than twice before sewing. To sew it all together, place your middle panel a good side up on a flat surface. Place your front panel a good side down and align the edges with the crease line on your middle panel. There will be a quarter inch gap at each side. You want to sew from one end of the middle panel to the other, so once sewn the previous gap will fold back with your side panel. And you want to repeat this for the opposite side, your back panel. Then if your measurements have been up to scratch, your short side panels should fit perfectly on the remaining edge of your middle panel. Once finished you can go ahead and French seam everything if you want an ultra finished look on the underside, otherwise this is my completed cot skirt until it's time to take the panels up when I lower the cot. Thanks for watching, do subscribe if you haven't already for more baby updates and tutorials.